derive the differential equation of motion of a horizontal spring pendulum. And we'll use two methods. We'll use the conservation of mechanical energy and the Newton's second law. So first, the question is why you want to derive the differential equation of motion? Why you want to uh, find it? So we know that any object uh, from last year, if I have, for example, a car which is moving on a horizontal the trail, okay, so in order to know the motion, to study the motion of this car at any instant, you know, they are, for example, at t equal to one second, the uh, position of uh, the car x, t, and its speed at the time, for example, t equal one second, we have we had to uh, apply a Newton's second law, okay, so to find the external forces acting on the object. And when I apply into a second law, I will know the acceleration of the car. And then from the acceleration, I would find the velocity and I would find also the position. So if it was rectilinear, then I'd find the position x. Since this position x will give me the um, object to give me the study of the motion of the object at any instant, its position, where its position. The same thing here, in order to uh, find the position of the pendulum during the oscillation motion at any instant, yeah, in order to find x of t, okay, I must do, there, there's must uh, an equation to solve this. And what's the equation that I must solve? So the equation that I must solve is the differential equation of motion. Now, how to find this differential equation? So first I can find the differential equation using two methods, but let's take, for example, uh, the, uh, a horizontal spring pendulum. So the spring is fixed to a support from its extremity and a body M is attached to the other extremity and it can slide without friction. So this is important here. The body is shifted from its equilibrium position by xm. So at t equals to zero, this is at t equals to zero. It's at xm and then it's released. Now the question is derive the second order differential equation of motion. the aim and equation in order to find the position at any instant of the mass. So how to find uh, this differential equation? So first I knew there's no friction then in this case uh, that I, uh, I can apply the conservation of mechanical energy. This means the mechanical energy is constant, which means that if I want to write the mechanical energy at any instant at T, I have Ke plus Pe gravitational equal plus Pe elastic, it's equal to constant, which means half mv squared plus mgz. And here is on the reference, so here is the reference, this means this is equal to zero plus half k x square, it's equal to constant. Which means if I derive the derivative of mechanical energy with respect to time is equal to zero, so the difference, derivative of constant is zero. So we plan now on, it's half 2mv prime plus half 2k xx prime is equal to zero. So we simplify. And we know that x prime is equal to v, and that v prime is equal to x double prime. So we can divide here, we can substitute v and v prime, it will become m x prime, x double prime, k x x prime equal to zero. And we can divide by the uh, common factor, which is here x prime, which is different than zero. And also, okay, so it will become here, x double prime m plus kx equal to zero. So just I divide by mass, so it will be equal x double prime plus k over m x equal to zero. If I notice here in math, this is a second order differential equation. Second order since I have a double prime and it's a differential equation since I have a relation between the derivative, one of the derivative and uh, the uh, variable itself. So here I say we have the second order differential equation. Now, why do I need this one? Since if I solve it, when I solve this equation and I find the root, the root will be, will be x, so it will become x of t. Now, uh, it's not مش مطلوب مننا نحن نحلها, okay? But the aim هو إنه نحن نطلع x, the position of the object, 
at any instant. Play. Is another lateral position. This means I can find V. This means I can find also the acceleration. So an update the object, the study of the motion at any instant. Another method to uh, find the differential equation is Newton's second law. So by applying a Newton's second law, this is the x-axis. Here, summation of f external is equal to ma. So I put the external forces acting on the object. So we have the tension, we have the weight, we have the normal. This means weight plus normal plus tension is equals to ma. So by projection on the x-axis, I will have minus t is equals to ma. So, and we know that t is equal, according to Hooke's law, is equals to k times x or k delta l. So we'll have minus kx equal, and we know that the acceleration is v prime, means it's x double prime, so equal m x double prime, which will give us m x double prime plus kx equal to zero. Also, what we am divide by m, so I get x double prime plus k over m x equal to zero. And this is the second order differential equation. So we can use it both method, and at the end, we'll have, we'll get the same differential equation when I'm using the horizontal spring bundle and the mass. In this case, we'll get this equation, which is of the form in math of the form x double prime plus omega zero square x equal to zero. It's a second order differential equation.